Greetings, everyone, and welcome to White Fucking Plays, Acolyte of the Altar. This is a roguelike deck builder. Um, I think they're kind of like taking inspiration from Magic the Gathering, but single player, I believe, only. Um, and then, like, they've got some unique stuff where bosses get harder as you go along. Um, and I guess you build a build a deck, because it's a roguelike deck builder. So this could be kind of cool. Marrow Wastes. This is the demo at the moment. Um, they've been in the demo for a decent amount of time now. I think they're thinking of bringing out early access or the full game or whatever next year, early next year, maybe. Let's see what we got here. Swalking Bard. Hey, over here. You're an acolyte, right? I'm a beast. That means we fight. I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why. We got a mana pull koi and a chanting cultus. Oh, you look positively flimsy. Let me give you some tips. You don't embarrass yourself. Oof. All right. Squawking Bard. Look. Okay. Well, that was the name of the card. Look at that. You brought a cute little guy with you. Why don't you right click and check him out? When Looks like he's got a... He's a, he's a little, 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 little... Looks like he's a creature. See here how he is yellow attack gem? Yeah. That's how much damage he does when he attacks. Makes sense. This is his health. If it takes that much damage, he gets snuffed. Blue gem, how much mana it costs to play. Easy enough. Can you see your mana pool here? It holds up all your delicious mana. Yep, one of one. Here, have some extra mana I stole from the last acolyte. Use it to play your mana pool koi next. 15. Okay. Spend all remaining mana to gain plus one plus one for each mana spent. Stop eating once a 5-5. Five five. Well... Oh, shoot. He ate all your mana. Most cards have special abilities. Effects, so be sure to read them before playing them. Oof. Notice creatures are summoned closest to your face. Yep. Hey, someone else likes saying face. Well, you're out of mana, so let's see what you got. Smack me hard. Drag your creature into the attack roll, then click the big attack button. Creatures can't attack on the first turn because they've got summoning sickness. No worries. Means you'll have to end your turn and let me go next. What about this guy? Oh, both of these are summoned this turn. All right. Is that what he was going to do to us? One damage. Piercing eye. Your one damage. Now he gets another ability. <coughs> My piercing eye gaze messed you up. Good. Did you see a little life plummet from my special ability? I did. Okay. For real this time. Pick up your creatures by dragging them. Your mouse can carry multiple creatures at once. What's this do? Boom. I like it. Now, click the big attack button. What about this? What does this do? Okay, fine. That really hurt. As your turn goes by, a beast of rage increases. This unlocks our latent power via new abilities. <coughs> Oof. Uh, end your turn again so I can show you my real power. Can't read anything. Okay, so it all gets stacked. This koi is too big for you, mate. You're going to get taken out. My powerful slash destroyed your creature. Take that, Alkalite. Most ability strikes from left to right, like reading a book. Okay, so his attack hit the left-hand one first. And I guess you could place your card where you want it. Well, that's all the advice I have. We can stop fighting now, right? Um, yeah. Gain two borrowed life. Oh, so I can play this. No, I can't. He's a goner. Sorry, mate. It's the strongest that survive in this crazy world. Choose your lesser patron. Undertake a great challenge. Oh, I can read it. Uh, start with a 1-1 vent crawler. With armies of imps captained, captained by mountainous champions, ravagers take down beasts before they can react. So like a, a rush deck. We've got the... Emper oh my gosh. Empiricistus. Empiricist. I don't know. Heal three life after each combat. Okay, so that's kind of life thing. 
bargaining with transcendental, transcendental horrors in exchange for knowledge. They stall for time until they can summon these beings to annihilate their foes. Okay. Doesn't seem as good. Like, if you got this guy out, get it 1-1 instantly, you're probably not going to take as much damage. Or else we've got the green probably not out in the demo yet. Locked in demo, come back later. And then... So if we, if we do two reds... What does that do? Let's go both of them. Oh. Gifts weigh, weigh one extra burden point. When you loot a card, choose from only two cards. Okay, so challenges to make it harder for you, but you gain extra points or meta progression or something. Let's have a look. Crown of Wisdom. Start combat at two mana. What's the seven at the bottom? Oh, spiritual burden. Your spirit burden is, is by profane gifts. Draw one less card on a fight start. Light burden. No penalty. Heavy burden. Uh, draw one less card from on fight start and begin with one less mana. Creatures played while well, you have seven or more max more max mana summon a 1-1 one, one on death okay to seven one two three four five six seven so we gain an extra mana but we'd lose one card to start with this seems pretty strong though all right back into the marrow wastes All right, we got a ram. There's a one-one stalker crab or whatever he is. Vent crawler, charge summoned by Loan, patron of ravengers. We only got one of them, so maybe the lesser god wasn't a great job. Maybe you have to take two different ones. Um, end of turn, lose one attack. Yeah, it's all about rushing. Okay. Two cannon fodder. Frontline charge. Okay. Two two. When you loot a new card, a tiny discipline is sadly, sadly replaced from your deck. Oh, okay. So we've got some tiny disciplines which get removed from deck as we get new cards. That's kind of a cool mechanic. Uh, instead of trying to remove them ourselves. Three one for one, or a five one. I guess we go for the five one here. I got the sound of the goat as well. Is it my turn again? Ah, oh, attacking and then end turning. So you can cast spells after you attack, I guess. We got a bite coming in. Deal two damage to this guy. Okay. We can cast um this guy and this guy. I and mean, can we put them? We can't put them further away that's interesting so they're always going to take the weakest one out first and then go for the strongest one last to a certain degree oh ah. all right we can forget to um attack pretty easily my bad okay so we can attack first and then we can put down stuff so cannon fodder they go at the front and they get attacked first. And they don't have charge. Oh, they got charge. So I could attack with them. Okay. Doing bad. Learning. We'll work it out. I'll work it out. All right. We can grab all those, put them all up here. Get the attack in. We've got a ram. I should have read first. Rams the leftmost creature into the neighbor, damaging each other's attack. Damn. So they're going to kill everything on the board here. But they're not hitting me at all. Do I have like a special ability? All right. 
We've lost these three here. That means we lost everything next turn. Oh, this guy survived. Because end of turn stuff happens first. Okay. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're close. Perfect. That worked this turn. Gain bonus effect each time they stay behind during the attack. Oh yeah, nice. Mother of kid. Hope these, all these monsters are evil. Um, a crumbling gargoyle every turn. But it's a creature, so you'd have to put it in a good spot. Claim your rewards. Um, this is epic, apparently. Standard. This is good. Four for two, two ones. And then they go at the front as cat and fodder. This is good, though. It's a three cost. So you'd have a couple of minions first, and then this guy would keep summoning. I don't know if there's ways you can move things around. But five beetles to re-roll with. So this will be replaced with... Let's go with this one. Traveling along the map here. What the heck's that? If I get four, I lose a mana. I should get a two. Deal one after you cast a spell. When you attack with four or more creatures, give them plus one, plus one this round only. Do this. I shouldn't have picked that seven one to start with. Very expensive. Spend all remaining to gain plus one, plus one. So I could get a two, two here instantly. What's this do? Deal three damage to a random creature every time a spell is cast. Well, so he's not attacking us this turn. All right, let's see if I got everything in my head now. No spells cast. I'm going to press end turn again. Then we've got Lantern Lure. Grant neighboring creatures minus one attack. Deals two direct damage to you. Oh, and this. Prod. Deal one damage. And then he will... On death, I can get two damage done to me. This prod is pretty bad, actually. We get some stronger minions down. So he'll kill that. That'll go down in damage. Again. Oh, what? I get this? Oh. Do some fodder at the start here. Whoa. Why is this dying instantly? I thought if that died. Oh, here we go. Swipe. Deal one damage to all creatures. Okay, so everyone's going to get hit there. This guy will take this guy's damage down. So I don't want to play anything that's too small. This will get reduced damage, but we'll still attack. Maybe wait for this guy to get a 5-5 five, five next turn. There's no point in playing anything else. And then the swipe, this thing dies and takes us down one damage. Okay. Okay, um, so what, the swipe's not happening? Or it will happen? It just happens. 5-5. Five, five. 
spell is cast. Okay. So we're going to get another lantern. Which automatically gets killed. Are you serious? Oh, the swipes every three turns. Okay. okay. Alright, this is fine. Big damage, big damage. These have got a charge, actually, so I can play them next turn to finish them off. So how often does the lantern go? Alright, so if I play this, I get two... Oh, I played a spell. That guy died. But he's definitely dead. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, what do we got here? Dominate one. Summon two beasts. What's dominate mean? Cards would dominate. Randomly kill your own creatures before entering play. All of them. Oh, no, just you pick one. Ravagers love to show off their strength. Summon two beast tormentors. 3-3. Three, three. Advance all enemy rage gauge by one. Rage Gauge. This one's pretty good for us. Let's go with this guy. I'm, I'm, I don't normally pick all the weak ones. What's all this offerings? Uh, each time a creature strikes for exactly one damage, gain one borrowed life. That'll happen sometimes. Alright, I'll grab that. Red Shores. You hear bolsterous laughter and rattle of dice in a cup. A ball of fur cowers before a beast. Last dog. Timid eyes look up at you. The beast looks desperate and hungry. It is closing the distance to the dog. Step by step, rescue and flee. Shop rerolls cost one less. Gain 20 beetles. What happens now? We lose one mana. So if we take this, when you attack with four more creatures, we'll grab 20 beetles. If we're maxed out, what does that mean? Nothing. Do we only get one mana? I thought it was going to... We haven't finished yet. Wait, what? End of turn, bite the enemy for three, then flees to the back line. Forsake me. What? Oh, what? This guy gets all these? Please to the back line. Death. Forsake me. We're going to try and keep this thing alive, but this guy's going to do two damage to all attack it, so I can't attack with him. Uh, okay. If stomach contents is less than three, deal, th deal eight overkill. The ability with overkill will deal leftover damage to you directly. Stomach. What the heck? Deal one damn one deal one. If this kills a creature, gain I gain three life and increase stomach contents by one. Stomach contents. Decreases by one every other turn. Start of turn. If stomach content is ten or more, it bursts and I die. If stomach on it is zero, I starve and I die. So we don't have to kill this thing. We just have to feed it or starve it. But we can feed it because we've got lots of little guys. Because they're doing one damage. Should we try and feed it? But he's going to lose a, a life at the moment. 
Deal two to all attackers. So we don't attack. Is that what he's telling me? Decreases by one every other turn. If stomach is 10 or more, it bursts and I die. Deal one damage. If it kills a creature, I gain three life and increase stomach contents by one. So by two. Okay. Okay, so you guys at the back, and then they're going to get two creatures and go up to six. And it's not under three, so he doesn't get killed. And summon these dudes. Which would be really good, yeah? But I'm going to lose it the next turn after this. Unless I get my other card, which spawns in front. Okay. So he gets one, seven. Next turn will go down by one. Didn't get anything. Great. But we summon another one of these, and we can put another one out. We'll summon that while not at the moment. Why not at the moment? Seven, eight. Um, I guess we just play this guy just to help our dog gonna be nine but not ten we could have won if we didn't put this guy out but you'll get two next turn so that should be it nine ten So he's dead, yeah? Kaboom. Okay. Different winning conditions for different scenarios. Deals two damage to all allied creatures. Any that would die this way are instead restored to full health and grant two attack. Okay, that does sound good. Offering. So now I can just go crazy. Plus four to your current and max life. Start combat with a 3-1 Raven. When it dies, summon a 3-2. And finally, a 3-3. If the final Raven dies, so do you. Oh. Start combat with a Founder's Memorial. Grants plus one to neighboring creatures. If it survives turn five, gain five beetles. It's not going to happen really, though, is it? Because you'd have to put stuff in front of it somehow. What is this crazy thing? Oh, we've got the dog as well now? Okay. The dog's always going to be there. Grant to neighboring creatures. If it's a, if I survive to turn five, gain five beetles. Deal one damage. If this kills a creature, deal one as another counter strike. Oh, well that sucks. Lucky we got this actually. So this will gain plus one twice. I see this thing is phenomenal. Okay. Oh, I should have attacked. I, I kept forgetting from the other one. I didn't have to attack. Jeez, how many things are opening? All right. So this can attack and we don't get penalized. Okay. Counter attack. Okay, so when we attack, he attacks us. This one, deal one direct damage to you. Bam. And this one, restore one life to self. Okay, that's fine. 
until we get something else. Here we go. Crescendo. Oh, raises all their effects by one. Have you done that already? Not yet. Well, let's get a 4-4 a four, four out. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want this one. But I can I can pull him deck down afterwards. Okay. Oh wait, and I can swap the position? No. Counter strike for one? Okay. Alright, now it's everything's up by two. So we got we can't fit anything more in here. So close. All right. Oh, now we can fit another one in. Oh, yeah, we got him. Good job, doggy. We'll try and keep you safe. All right, what do we got this time? Uh, summon two cannon fodder. That's good. I don't know what this rage gauge is. Grab them. Well, there we go. Demo complete. Fight many more beasts, including the giants of the Red Shores. Players of Tricks the uh, Salvian. Salvian. And show off your brainiest plays. <laughs> Intro and outro scenes and flavored text that, uh, that lore keepers can delve into. Final boss with every beast, even your be best deck creations. Okay. Bring a friend along to check. Okay, so there we go, guys. This is Acolyte of old, of the Altar. Pretty cool. Nice, succinct tutorial showing you what it's all about. Um, I don't know what like what will happen in the map. Can you pick your place as you go? Um, can you modify cards? Can you remove other cards? I think... I doubt you'd be able to modify them then. But you can kind of build a synergy there. You're kind of building a fighter and you're going to put people in front. You've got some pretty cool mechanics. Be interesting to see where they take this. So this is coming out, um, I don't know if it's a full game or early access, but March 2024. Um, so next year, March. And I'll be keen to give this a go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll put this in the description so you can try the demo yourself or um, wishlist it for when it comes out. And hit that like button on my video. It really helps me out. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks guys, bye fucking out.